Oh my gosh, this music is extremely excitable here. So hats are good. Uh-oh. I'm running out of matches already. I need at least a camera match. Nope. A rose match? Nope. Oh, this is gonna suck. Ouch! This is not good! Oh boy. I just... getting wrecked here. More hats, please! Oh boy. Oh, hats. Hats are- I- you know what? This whole, like, mechanism of having negative matches? That's actually pretty interesting from a change in how we do match three. I feel like I have to pay attention now. <laughs> That's pretty neat. What a little change to a classic game. So, roses and cameras, nothing. Hats, nothing. I'm gonna have to go negative now. Let's see. Oh boy, oh boy. Hats. What happens if I get uh, stuck here? Interesting. Ah, it's upper left! I think that might have been 10 seconds too late. Yes, we're doing game giveaways on Discord. Don't forget, folks, it's brand new Discord. And I'm so happy that I started a week ago and we were already up to 50 people that have joined Discord. And for those of you that are not familiar with it, it's just a place to chit chat with the community outside of live streams and I put game giveaways in there, play some music, stuff like that. It's a lot of fun. Oh man, these matches are killing me here. Hats, please. Charging up the hats. Oh, that hurt in many ways. We're almost there! Yes! Charge it up! That was actually not pretty fun! Whoa! We charged the lady too? <laughs> she was basically the guard on the door. Verona boy! That's what we're gonna call this puppet here? Verona boy? Oh, another mechanical puppet. Well, don't mind me. I'll just take the diary and leave. Yeah, I'm sure this is not going to cause any sort of triggered an alarm. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man, we just got slapped. Nice try. Way to go, Gibsy. You're not my dear Mistress Rosalind intruder. You may not take her personal things, Especially those I protect personally, like her diary. So farewell. <laughs> okay. Okay. How are we going to convince the puppet to give us the diary? Apparently it's a butler puppet. I tested the puppet butler a few times. Everything should be fine. Remember, if something goes wrong, turn it off by pressing the button on his belly. Then call me. Well, that's clearly how we're going to deal with this. Okay, puppet. I need to open the cupboard. Ooh, she looks like we've got some lovely clothes in here. Oh, we just took a picture of herself. Oh! <gasps> I look dashing as always! <laughs> oh, cool. We are dashing Gypsy. Yes. Whoa, what the heck is this? Some sort of mobile? Where's the button? Is he gonna slap us? Aww, I wanted him to slap us one more time. Darn it all. 
Ooh, we got paid. Oh, some lovely tea here. Dear Diary, I'm sure there's all sorts of terrible secrets in there. Hello, hello, hi there. Welcome to Puppet Show. To open the... I need to open the cover, yeah? Oh my gosh, look at that dress. Wow. You know, it's funny, I, uh, you know, I admire all things, right? And over the years, as uh, someone who's created content on YouTube, I get the odd person who questions my sexuality over admiring lady clothing. I'm like, okay, I don't know why you need to do that, but if that's how you want to live your life, enjoy. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Let's get into the diary. Our holidays were simply divine. Evenings on the lake were so romantic with all the roses and candles. Even the nasty weather and my wet feet couldn't spoil things. Having to stay home for another week is so boring. I have a chest cold that I haven't gotten over in two months. Being wrapped up in all these pillows and blankets makes me feel like a bird in the cage. I don't think I can bear this pain anymore. All the doctor's useless attempts to find a cure make me sicker. Sometimes I hear Richard yelling at another doctor behind my heavy door. How can I ever hope to be cured if the doctors are too scared to even enter my room? In the end, after all the things I've learned, I plan to deal with this illness myself. Okay. Which is probably where things got terribly wrong. I like how this puppet's just spitting out steam or something. Or fire, I don't know what the smoke? What was she planning? I need to get to the bottom of this. Dear Rosalind, your request is being considered. The head of the clinic, Dr. W, is interested in your case. Beginning today, you are officially a patient of our clinic. A non-disclosure agreement needs to be signed. Best regards, Clinic Agent 26. Fair enough. Dear Rosalind, you've been inf informed that your treatment will cost a large sum of money. The following payments must be made without delay. These are the rules. Oh, so now we know where the family uh, amulet went. Six months of treatment by giving away the family. Interesting. Darn, right, the letter is encrypted. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. I see you've opened my wife's diary and found her correspondence. I only have a few minutes, so let's take a look. That might be your problem in the first place, buddy. You spend more than a few minutes with your sick wife. The letter is encrypted, but I recognize these symbols. They were encrypted with my own device. I would never have believed Rosalind would use my decoder typewriter against me. I wonder who made her do it. I'm afraid I must go back to the lab. My wife keeps the decoder typewriter under her bed. As soon as you decipher the letter, bring it to me. It may shed light on who's behind these terrible events and help us to save Rosalind. Okay. We need to find the decipher machine. Apparently this is gonna help us get under the bed. Okay. I think we can take care of that. Whoa! Why do you have a bed with a bunch of bird cages underneath it? Wow. Really? Really? Ugh. <laughs> I guess she's like, oh, I feel like a bird trapped in a cage. Hello, hello, we've got all sorts of handcuffed dolls. Wow. Wedding rings. Money. Got some eight-sided die and got some D&D &D dice over here. 
Who wants to play a little Dungeons and Dragons? Where does the uh, strawberry have to go? Man, she literally has strawberry all over her dress. Poor thing. Bracelet 26. Jammy doll is jammy. You play Pathfinder, no D&D, please? D&D is so 1980s or something. Hey, they have Dungeons and Dragons in uh, Stranger Things. Use the strawberry to draw the heart. Oh, wow. Wow! <laughs> strawberry heart! Oh my gosh. We need to get some strawberries in the chat. That's all I have to say. That was great. What am I looking for? Richard and Gates bracelet. That apparently is not a bracelet. Twenty-six is on the left, thank you. This has to be something which I don't know what. Strawberries in the chat, thank you. Not exactly sure what I'm supposed to do here. I need to leverage to open it up. How is that not helping? Bracelet and knight. Oh. Apparently that's... Oh, gates. Oh, jeez. Bracelets by the fruit. Oh, thank you. So now we just need knight. And all I have is this letter opener. Oh, now it worked. Cool! Now we need all the boutons. Give me all your boutons, please. Dear Agent 26, I plan on getting money for a cure from my husband, Richard Rives, the mayor. But how can I explain why I'm asking for so much money if we signed a non-disclosure agreement about the clinic? Sometimes it seems like you're acting like outlaws. The clinic gates are always closed, and I can only get an appointment at night. If you have a heart, I beg you, give me more time. Your bracelet already torments me with unbearable pain around the clock. Rosalind. Rosalind. Hey, how are those Annabelle horror movies? I always wondered about that. Help! This thing is killing me! But it's supposed to be curing you. Interesting. We have cryptid letters and a cool achievement. All right, Strawberry Jam Doll, we will see you later. Seriously, all the bird cages underneath her bed. Wow. Let's go back, I guess. Uh, sir? Detective, did you manage to decipher Rosalind's letter? I most certainly did. Oh no! Rosalind is terminally ill, and I'm only finding out about it now. It turns out that she had a secret correspondence with a clinic, but this is the first time I'm hearing about such a facility. According to the letter, my wife is supposed to meet with the agent at the Central Square today. He's already waiting for her there. Take my brooch and go to the square. Talk to this mysterious Agent 26 and find out what my wife got involved in. I'll find a way to contact you later. Sounds like a plan. I will take your RR brooch. Hello, what's this lovely creature here? Hi. Her fingers are keys? What is this all about? Richard's brooch, please. Um, 
<laughs> what is this? This is some crazy stuff here. We have to like put all these keys away? Clean up the house. That does not go there. It's time to tidy up the keys so we can go outside. Let's do this. Is that actually the exit? Wow, I really like how they have her floating here. It looks so good. Yeah, you have to remember that I, uh, I watch all sorts of terrible uh, horror movies, so... It's all relative, like, I would never expect a horror movie to be amazing. <laughs> that to me is a little bit of an 